All right, everybody. I bet you've been waiting for a truck update or a new video. There's a couple reasons why I haven't been driving my truck. One of them is it's dark out. When I go to work, it's dark. When I come home, it's dark. All you're going to see on the video is a bunch of blurs going by, as you can see in there at the end. As light gets more and it gets brighter more and I get the truck out during the day, I'll do more videos. The other reason is, uh, as you can see from this video it's playing, I was doing an inspection of my tires when I got to work. I had noticed the last three times I drove my truck, each time the brake pedal went further down. I didn't know if I was just very fatigued from driving a lot or if I, I was hoping my leg was getting stronger and was pushing it more. Well, the third time I went to go to work, I started on the road and I started going and got to a spot where I needed to hit my brakes because I don't hit my brakes that often, it gets gear load. So I hit my brakes and went down to the floor, all the way down, and but it slowed down and stopped. When I went on to work, parked it, talked to a couple old fellers, uh, talked to my brother-in-law, he's a vet, and he also works on cars, and he told me to look around my wheel well, see what anything's wet or how it's doing. Well, as you can see from this video, the back driver was a little wet, the mid passenger was a little wet, but the front driver, when the camera gets up to it, was soaked. So that one there, which is the first in the circuit of the single circuit brake, the wheel cylinder had completely ruptured and failed, and those other two were weakening. So I'm going to have to replace those wheel cylinders. Well, since the other ones are probably just as old as that one, who knows how long they've been on that truck, I'm going to rebuild the entire thing. I bought everything from Big Mike's Motor Pool. I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video. I'm still looking up for some Dot 5 fluid. It's harder to find than I thought it was. I'm going to have to order it. I'm going to need a 5 inch socket to take off the axle nut and an inch and a half socket to take off the lug nuts. And I'm getting a tire dolly. It's going to help me move those very heavy tires. And I've heard 300, I've heard 500 pounds. I don't know which one it is. So as soon as I get all those things together, I'm going to try to do a video about how to not only rebuild the wheel cylinders, how to take the wheels off, how to re-grease the bearings, how to bleed it, and hopefully how to install a remote master cylinder. Because the master cylinder is located under your foot in the floorboard of these trucks. And as soon as I get everything going, you'll be updated as I go. And I got more repairs coming on, and I got more videos and ideas to do. Just want to give you guys a little update. I'll catch you around.